Today we will discuss about sign bar working and parts of the sign bar. Usually sign bar is used for measuring angles with a precise manner. Firstly, we will discuss about all the parts of the sign bar. The sign bar is made up of any robust material or stainless steel. It has two rollers on left and right side and length between the center of the rollers are a precise length denoted on the sign bar. So it is a very very accurate length between these two centers. And blow gauges are the standards for measuring height or length of an object with a very precise manner. Blow gauges are standards for measuring height or length of an object. And now we take an example that we have a this kind of workpiece and we want to measure the taper angle of the workpiece. Now we see the working of sign bar for measuring angles like this kind of workpiece. What will happen? Firstly, we will take a surface plate so that a precise plane surface will be maintained and below gauges called height h1 this height is known because these are the standard blocks and on the other side these are also block gauges and a sign bar is placed on these block gauges then we placed workpiece on the upper side of the sign bar this part will support this workpiece then we take a dial gauge indicator. This dial gauge indicator will travel on the workpiece and it will record the changes in the reading. If this dial gauge indicator does not show any reading, then our blow gauges are placed accurately or this workpiece is parallel to the dial gauge travel. So, if this is not, then we have to increase or decrease the height of the blow gauges until this dial gauge will not show zero deflection. And this angle is called theta. According to sine rule, sine theta is h1 minus h2 divided by L means this height of the blow gauges and this height h1 minus h2 and divided by this L is called sin theta or angle of the workpiece which we want to measure. This dial gauge indicator will travel on the workpiece and show deflection. Until this deflection will not zero, we change the heights of the blow gauges according to requirement. And if this dial gauge indicator show zero deflection on traveling then this is correct angle which we want to measure there is also we can use on the right side for blow gauges height for measuring this angle and dial gauge will travel and show the deflection so this height or this height will be changes according to the condition. Also there are another sign bar which are used for measuring angles of the work pieces like this pieces. We place directly the sign bar on this work piece and measure the angle. We have a surface plate this work piece and blow gauges sign bar is placed like this and this angle is measured directly by the sign rule sin theta is equal to h by l and we can measure theta which is equal to sin inverse h by l so with the help of sign bar we can measure different types of workpiece angle according to different ways thank you for seeing this video for more updated videos you can subscribe me on my channel learn and grow Thank you.